All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this episode, continuing the series on uh, post production for a, a short film, We're doing the, the 35 millimeter film transfer to digital. So far, we have synced the audio and we've organized it with the, with the clips into scene folders. And now, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to edit a scene of dialogue with that footage. I'm also posting the proxy footage online that you guys will be able to download. Uh, and the link is in the description at the bottom. You can uh, go to that link and download the footage, and you can uh, practice with this footage if you want to. Uh, you can use the previous episode to kind of help sync and merge the files and then this episode is going to be one that uh where i'm showing to actually how to edit edit it so this project has been delivered to the editor which i'm acting as right now so and i'm going to double click on scene one folder and uh and right now i've got this in thumbnail view if it's in list view i really like my scene folders to be in thumbnail view here or icon view if you click on the icon view down at the bottom left hand corner and then you can reach size these to get them to the size you like I like them a little bit bigger so I can kind of really see the thumbnails. And then you've got this little sort icons uh, switch next to this. If you click on that, you can go up and make sure this is in list view sort and it will have them in alphabetical order. It's in user order. It'll be in the order that you've been using these in, having the, the most recent ones first. So I like it in alphabetical order. Uh, so list view sort. And it goes in alphabetical order from left to right. Then it goes down to the next column, left to right, and so on. So I've got the script here, and uh, the, I should probably explain the way this was uh, shot so you can understand how the footage uh, works when you're shooting a scene of dialogue, at least the way this was shot here. Uh, let's go to Photoshop here, and I'm going to do some little crude drawings here. But if we're kind of looking on top here, we're looking from the top down, I'm going to draw uh, one person and two person having a scene of dialogue. And this was shot in kind of a basic way where we, we did a couple dolly shots, tried to get a little, little bit fancy. Uh, but we did do what was called a master shot, though. Uh, the master shot covered uh, pretty much the entire scene. And what a master shot is, is basically it contains uh, kind of a wider shot of both um, both the subjects that are in this that are in the script here. And basically the master shot covers the entire scene. If we go over to the scene here, that, that master shot, you should be able to find a master shot that has, uh, this is scene one right here, that covers one, two pages, almost two pages of script here. So a master shot is going to take place from the beginning, and it's a wider shot, and we'll go all the way to the end. Now, kind of the logistics with a microphone in this shot is the microphone's going to be placed. You have the boom uh, that comes over the shot here, and you have a microphone that's kind of placed right here in the center, and it's kind of sharing audio between these two people. If you can't get the mic super close, this is not going to be the best audio to use. So the master shot is not typically used for the best audio. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to show you kind of a technique where we're going to edit for the best audio first, and then we're going to use the master shots uh, for cutaways and kind of matching your audio. So that's our master shot. And then for a big portion of the scene, we will have over the shoulder shots. So this is an over the shoulder shot. And we basically have the characters Tina and uh, Basil. So as we go over the shoulder shot, we have this over the shoulder shot to Basil. I'm going to put the, a B here for Basil and a T here for Tina. So this over the shoulder shot, when the camera is over the shoulder of Tina to Basil and the camera is pointed at Basil, uh, the microphone is actually, that's where we're able to get that boom coming in and the microphone is pointed directly at Basil's mouth. And that's it for the entire, every shot that you see where the camera is pointing toward Basil, the microphone is pointing at Basil's mouth. And that audio, uh, as, long, as long as Basil's on camera, that audio should be good for Basil. Uh, as we do our reverse shot, there we go, Basil and Tina. As we do the reverse angle here to get coverage of Tina over the shoulder, the microphone is now pointed toward Tina's mouth. And it's get, since it's like just like a medium shot or a close-up, uh, that framing, uh, you can get the, the microphone fairly close to the subject. While the camera is on Tina, we're getting all of Tina's good audio and the microphone is pointing toward her. So what our job is, first of all, to do in a, in a scene of dialogue is to edit for the best audio. We're trying to get the very best audio and edit, edit that together. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to follow the script and do and perform that edit. And, uh, and our first step of editing dialogue is to gather all the best audio in order. And let's show you how we do that. So with the script here, we're going to look at who uh, has the first line, because that's going to be whose shot we're looking for. We're looking for this shot here with the best possible audio. And if you have a medium shot or a close-up, it's going to be that medium shot or close-up. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to use that medium shot or close-up in, in the movie, but we're just going to be taking that good audio first, and that is the first step. So we're going to cut from Tina back to Basil, from Tina back to Basil for the duration of their lines and gather the good audio. That is the first step of editing dialogue. And the first line that I'm looking for right now in the script is right here. Should I clean the floor? So that's going to be the best. I'm going to look for the best audio on that. And that's likely going to be an over-the-shoulder medium shot. So actually, I'm going to go to take three. I think take three was the best one according to the script supervisor logs. So I'm going to go to the beginning of this shot. Okay, take three. 
Should I clean the floor? And for this shot, the microphone is right over the top of her, pointing down at her mouth. And this isn't really a great shot. She's not framed properly. She actually steps into frame oh. Oh. later on, and now this is the framing that we got for that shot. However, the microphone is on her for this shot, so I'm gonna grab this audio. This is the good audio that I want. Yes. And I'm gonna play it right before she says it and, and put an endpoint, I for endpoint. Should I clean the floor? And right there, I've got her line. Should I clean the floor? Out point. Got her entire line right there. I'm gonna hit period and drop it down into my timeline. Let's go to my timeline, zoom up on this a little bit, plus, 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 zoom up, and there I have the line, should I clean the floor? So the next thing I'm gonna do, go back to the script and look at the next line. No. Keep cooking. So I'm gonna find that shot, that medium shot uh, that has the best audio. The wider shots, like I said, will not have uh, as good as audio. And his medium shots are these ones right here. I have a take one, take two. Take two has the better takes. So I'm gonna go to take two. And we're gonna find that shot where he walks in, past this light here. So, action. He walks in the door. Enter. Should I clean the floor? She says her line, should I clean the floor? But right now the microphone is right here pointing at his mouth. So right after she says, should I clean the floor? I stop. Hit end point. He says his line. No, keep cooking. And that's really good audio there. Out point. Um, add salt. And then next is her line. So I've got the end point and out point just on his line. Perry to drop that in. So now on the timeline, I've got. Should I clean the floor? No, keep cooking. His audio is louder than hers, but that's fine. That can be leveled later on. But we're right now we're grabbing the best audio uh, for each for each individual line. So I'm going to go back to the script, and Tina turns to the countertop. Searching for spices. I'm going to kind of take into account that timing as well. We're not just going to get just the lines. I'm going to get kind of the timing that it takes her to turn to the countertop as well. And she says, add salt or add pepper. So we're going to go back to take three. And now Basil says his line. No, keep cooking. And now she turns and walks. So I can put an end point right where he says. So I can put an end point right where he ends. No, keep cooking. Pause. End point. Play. Add salt or add pepper. Out point. But I'm going to grab the best audio I can and hit period to drop that in. So now I've got these lines kind of going back and forth, but notice he says his line. Cooking. Add salt or add... And we have a little bit of a time where we let her kind of turn and walk back to the counter space. In fact, we could add a little bit more of that if we want to. And we're going to keep this little... And we're going to keep doing this, where she says, add salt or add pepper. And he says, no. So it's a single line, but we're still going to grab that good audio just off the line, no. Take the same take. Us. Salt or add pepper? No. So I'm going to get right after she says her line. Pepper. Stop. In point. No. He says no. Out point. No salt or no pepper? And I've just got that one line where he just says no. I'm going to drop that in, period. And let's do this one more time. So next line, no salt or no pepper. Grab her clip from take three. So he says his line. Add pepper. No. In point. No salt or no pepper. Stop. Out point. And I'm going to drop that down on the timeline, period, to drop it in my timeline. And let's kind of see what we've got so far. So we've got this kind of little exchange going back and forth, and we cut to each person just for the duration of the, just for the duration of their lines. Should I clean the floor? No, keep cooking. Add salt or add pepper? No. No salt or no pepper? And there we go. And I'm going to keep doing this from beginning to end. I'm going to do this to the end of the scene. So I'm going to keep editing. It's just going to keep this little back and forth. I'm not using any master shots. I'm just using medium shots and close-ups to get the, the best audio possible. And then we're going to come back and we'll, we'll do the next step where we start visually editing. But right now, I'm going to go through and edit this from beginning to end, uh, cutting into each person's line for the duration of their line. And then uh, then we'll come back and see what, see, see what I've got there. And we'll continue. Okay, we're back, and uh, I have finished doing this audio rough cut on this uh, on this edit here. And if we kind of play through it, I'm just going to play a little bit of it and kind of show what we've got. Should I clean the floor? No, keep cooking. Add salt or add pepper? No. No salt or no pepper? No salt. No salt. No. You got to use soy sauce. Pepper? Red pepper. Then what? What do you mean? So that's the way it's kind of going from beginning to end now. Uh, it's just, it's cutting, and it's very, very, very rough, but it's cutting, I've gone through and I've gathered each line from each character and kind of the pacing in between uh, to keep, and, and gathered the, the best audio possible for these clips here. There's a little bit of cleanup that needs to be done, some balancing which will be, and some, uh, some leveling which we will do in the uh, audio mixing portion of this. But right now we're just getting kind of a rough cut of this done and not really working on on uh, mixing levels on audio. But right now we have all the good lines in here from each character, and now we're gonna go through and start editing this visually. So we're gonna teach you some techniques here to start editing this visually once we have this audio rough cut done. So I'm gonna go to the very beginning. 
And I'm gonna play through this, and there's actually a moment, if we op open up the beginning here, where this character actually walks out, dips the mop in a bucket here, and, uh, and then turns away, and then they start the conversation. So I'm gonna get the very beginning part here. And even before that, there's a little uh, shot of just kind of kind of panning across the food here, and then we see her walk by in the background. So right now I'm just gonna grab this footage first. We're gonna go to the very beginning of this clip. And wait for action. There's action, so I'm gonna arrow back, get this where she, right before she walks in, and we're gonna do I for endpoint, play through it. And he walks in here. And she says, should I clean the floor? What I want to do is kind of match that point here to the audio here. Right here she says, should I clean the floor? But this is on a wider shot here. And then right here we see it on that more of that close up. So I'm going to match that up. And the way we're going to match that up here is I'm going to undo my, my end point here. I'm going to, I did control Z to undo. I'm going to get it right where she says, should. I'm going to listen to that little shush sound. Right there, I hear sh just barely. So I'm going to put an endpoint here, and we're going to create a matching point. And up here, we're going to find that same instance. Right there. Sh and there's even a way to do this by waveform if we need to. But that's where I want this clip to go. I'm going to put an arbitrary out point here. Just, uh, Should I clean the floor? Maybe right about there. Put an out point. And I'm going to grab this visual right in the middle. So it grabs uh, audio and video. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to put it on the top on the video two track and on the audio two track. And I can even kind of look at my waveform here and look, and this looks like, it, let's expand this here. Uh, hold on, Alt and scroll over these. And look at these waveforms here and look how closely these are matched. Maybe it's probably off by like a frame. So I'm gonna select these, hold down Alt and arrow to the left. If you're on a Mac, it's you hold down Command and arrow to the left and it'll nudge that over one frame. Now that I've got these audio waveforms matched, uh, I, could, um, I could just mute this track right now if I wanna keep that track there. I'm going to mute that bottom track. I'm going to hit A for all tracks forward. Does my all tracks forward selection. I'm going to grab all these. I'm going to drag them out and give a little bit of space here at the beginning. Uh, so now I'm going to grab this. I'm going to back time it. And let's take a look at this here. And I want that even further back here. So I'm going to make even more space. Grab this and drag it all the way back so we got that part where we hear action and we'll cut off that beginning part. Let's go back here and now listen for the action. I unmuted that track there so we can hear it. Action, so I'm going to do a control K and cut this right here. Select the top track, control K to cut this, select that and delete it. And in fact, we select that, and if I hold shift delete, it'll do a ripple delete and delete the rest of that. There we go. So now we got it right here where she walks in, dips into the water, and I'm going to keep the audio from this portion here, but I'm going to use this audio here, which is better audio uh, than the audio from this take here. So let's see if that matches up. So I'm going to actually hold down Alt and trim this backwards here. That separates it from this clip up there. And now I've just got just the audio for this and then the audio where she says, so this audio has been borrowed, which is gonna match up hopefully with this clip. Cause that's not a very good shot on this shot here. Let's go back and see this shot right here. That's not a very good angle. So I like this angle a lot more. But I'm borrowing the audio, the good audio from this clip and doing it to this, uh, to this wider shot. So, we have the audio, and you hear some jerk, the director, yell, enter, to cue this actor to enter, so we can cut that out later. Should I clean the floor? And now when she says, should I clean the floor, let's tilt over this and see if it matches. Watch your lips. Should I clean the floor? It looks perfect. So that audio actually belongs to another clip, but I used the better audio from another clip and matched it up and uh, did a match to her clip right there. Let's see how the edit timing looks from the next, so uh, from this clip to the next. The no, keep cooking. And right there, that's probably a little short, so I'm gonna trim this back a little bit. And uh, and actually, what I could do, I don't even want that shot anymore. I'm gonna hold that, select this, hold Alt, arrow down, grab this audio, Alt, arrow up, and get it all kind of flattened on the same level. So now we play through it. Should I clean the floor? No, keep cooking. And right here, he's, uh, we got a little bit of a mismatch. Right here, he is still moving a little bit, then we cut to the next shot, and he's holding still at this point. So what we probably need to do, uh, if we wanna get that with similar tightness here, what we can do is we can do a roll edit on uh, the visual clip right here. So I'm gonna lock my audio because I don't wanna move my audio. Uh, so my audio is locked and I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna hold down control and have my mouse over the top of this here and it turns into a roll edit while I'm holding down control. I'm gonna grab this and drag it backwards and, and see if we can get him where he's still moving. Look at the timing here. That timing doesn't even really time up. So what we're probably gonna have to do to get a match here is just kind of find a little moment in between here. I'm gonna hold down control i uh, lock my audio. Hold down control and roll out of this to the right a little bit. Maybe right before he turns his head and let's see how that looks. 
No, keep cooking. And that looks okay there, so I'm going to keep that for now. As we play through, we probably want to go back to a wide shot when we see her walk over to the table here. Add salt or add pepper? So I'm going to look for the wide shot. And since I want to match this to a wide shot here, I'm going to do the same technique that I just showed you. Where I'm gonna, I've got the wide shot here. And I'm gonna find a little point to match, and usually like those syllables where she goes like "p" is an easy, where she says "pepper" is a good one to match on. Add salt or add. So right here, when she says "p", right there is the first frame where she says "p", and up here I'm gonna get that same frame. And right there, I could hear the first frame of her going, puh. So I'm going to add an in point, no. play through, and put an out point, kind of an arbitrary out point. I'm going to grab this, drag it down, and time it up with the P down here. So now these P's are supposedly timed up. So if I drag this backwards, uh, those waveforms look like they probably match. Let's see how it looks visually. In fact, I'm going to mute this bottom track here and play through it and see if that matches up. Add salt or add pepper? No. And that looks pretty good. That matches up really well. Uh, so the audio, and we're not even using this audio down here, so now I can select this audio and I can just uh, delete it. Delete. Add salt. So now as we play from here. Pink. Add salt or add pepper? No. No. And the no mismatches a little bit there where he <laughs> says no. So what I need to do is I need to select, um, I need to nudge that over just a little bit. So I'm going to lock this. I'm going to do A for all tracks forward. Uh, we want to unlock our audio here now because I'm going to move all this forward. I'm going to nudge it forward just a couple, maybe three frames, and then see if the no matches. Pepper. No. And now the no natch matches. And that no doesn't belong to his wide shot, but we use it from the from the good audio from the close-up. And I'm going to track that back a little bit, and there we go. Pepper. No. No salt or no. So now I can unlock that. I can select this video and drop it down if I want to. Alt arrow down. And um, no. No salt or no pepper. Okay, and we got a little bit of mismatch here, because we cut to her. No. No salt or no pepper. He walks into the frame, and then up here, he's still walking in the frame. So I could shorten that up a little bit to get that to match. And what I can use here is called the trim window to help this out, to help this to get matched here. I'm going to arrow up and land right on the edit. Now I'm going to hold down shift and hit T. It'll bring up in this trim window. And the trim window uh, has the out point of the previous clip and the in point of the next clip. And what I can do is I can... Uh, Move over here. This is a ripple edit. This is a ripple edit. This is a roll edit. Ripple edit will shorten just the out point of this clip and the in point of this clip. And in here, it will change the in points and out points simultaneously. So I'm going to use the ripple tool to match this. So I'm going to grab this line to the left and kind of see as he walks in. Salt and pepper. And see where his shoulder is right there when it moves in. I don't really want to edit this right now because uh, the audio is good audio. So I'm going to move over to this one here and I'm going to get that to where it's matched. No, 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 Maybe right about there where he's entering in, and I let go, and it just trimmed that to that point. Let's see how that looks. So it just shortened that end point. No. So, so he's still moving here. So what I could do now is I'm going to lock the audio, and I'm going to roll edit this and see if we can get to where he's standing still. I'm going to move it over to his shoulders in place right there. And now we are performing what is called a J cut. The audio uh, extends over from this clip and over this clip. Let's see how that looks. No salt. And that works pretty well, actually. No salt. There we go. That works. All right, so I'm going to continue editing like this. We'll do some L cuts and J cuts. Let's, so let's uh, move along and keep editing visually here. After we perform this J cut right here, I'm going to move along and find the next visual uh, fix we want to do here. So I'm going to play through this. No salt. No salt. No you got to use soy sauce. All right, right here he starts walking away, and I want to go back. There's a really nice dolly shot. Let's kind of show this dolly shot uh, as he as he walks away that I want to cut to that has, is a two shot. So this shot right here is what I want to cut to. Right where he says soy sauce, and he starts walking away. Pepper? Red pepper. Right there. I want to be able to cut to that, but once again, I want to use the good audio that I've laid down instead of because the audio here is really faint uh, from her being a distance away from the mic. The microphone is right over him right now. Uh, so let's work on that. No salt. No. You got to use soy sauce. Pepper? 
right? There's where he walks away. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to the, the wider shot right where he starts walking away, and we're going to blend this together, and we're going to make another uh, either J cut or L cut here. Let's take a look at this. So an L cut is basically one that does the opposite. Instead of going over to the left, it's one where the audio extends over to a shot that it doesn't really belong to to the right instead, and it forms the shape of a uh, of an L rather than a um, rather than a J. So let's take a look at this here. I'm going to unlock my audio here because we're going to do some uh, changes here. When it starts walking away, you got to use soy sauce. Pepper. Red. And now we're cutting to this wide shot. So I'm going to grab this wide shot and I'm going to back time it over this footage here uh, to fix that visually. But we're going to keep the good audio that we've laid down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this visual and I'm going to drag it up. I'm holding down Alt and dragging it up uh, to duplicate it and grabbing this audio and dragging it down. So it's basically become its own clip here. Um, and if I want to join these up right now, when I select this, it doesn't select the audio. These were done separately, so I could right-click on them and say, let's link those together uh, so they so they trim together. Uh, but I'm going to back time this here, uh, back over this visual, and I'm going to look for that audio waveform. And look at this. There's actually a big distance of, uh, of him walking away that I didn't account for when I first did the edit. So I'm going to hit the letter A, which is all tracks forward. I'm going to select from here and drag everything forward and uh, leave some time here. So now I can grab this and trim backwards till I find that audio. Here's the audio right here. So this this audio where he says, "You gotta use soy sauce." And that's the good audio, and here's the not so good audio. You can see actually the audio is is quieter here, but it's the same line. You gotta use soy sauce. But it's not as good as it is here. You gotta use soy sauce. So I want to use this audio, but I want to use this visual, and then it transitions to him walking away. So I'm gonna match these up. I'm gonna hit A. I'm gonna grab this and drag it backwards, and I'm gonna uh, hold down Alt now and arrow to the left. And once again, that would be command on a Mac that makes us uh, go back one frame at a time. I'm gonna get those audio wa waveforms fairly matched up. I don't care about this here, but right here is where I'm gonna do the, kind of perform that cut. So let's l listen to see if that's kind of matched up. You gotta use soy sauce. And I hear a little bit of an echo, echo because that is pretty, pretty well matched up right there. Hear an echo because you hear the audio from both of these. But now that I've got that visually matched up, I can grab, I can actually grab my audio here. Actually, I'm just gonna unlink these now. I don't need that anymore, so I'm gonna unlink those. Uh, but I, I wanna keep the audio where he walks away here. And I'm gonna tr trim this over here. And I'm gonna hold that, I'm gonna select that and move it up here. But now I'm gonna use this visual to find out where I wanna perform my edit. So maybe right about that. Let's let's see how this looks. No, you gotta use soy sauce. That works pretty good, but I w and and now I even got the little addition. He lifts his hand and taps the soy sauce bottle there. They didn't do in the other shot. So no, you gotta use soy sauce. And the lips match up, and the audio does not belong to that clip there. Uh, so if we're really gonna get technical here, and let's let's move this down and see what we got here. And we do have uh, an L cut. So that's the opposite of a J cut. Now the audio from this clip extends over into this clip here, and we've got. You gotta use soy sauce. And then he turns and starts walking. Pepper. And she says pepper twice, <clears throat> but I want the good pepper here, uh, the good audio from the good pepper. And I'm gonna get rid of this shot because um, I'm gonna stay on this. I'm gonna stay on this uh, long shot here. I'm gonna delete that and um, drag this over. And this is the exact same shot here. This should, since I dragged this back time this, this should be the exact same shot. I can get rid of that and extend this over. Uh, but now all we have to do is time up her, her vocal uh, pepper. You gotta use soy sauce. It walks away. Pepper. Right there she says pepper and it's the, it's the crappy audio. So I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna alt arrow down and extend this over and I can use this waveform to kind of match it up. Uh, we're gonna move this over right about there. Looks like it will match, let's listen. And that matches. So now I can get rid of this bad audio, move this audio up, and extend this audio back. Let's see if that works there. I hear a little bit of uh, wind there on the microphone. So I left a gap there because I could hear a little wind on the microphone. You gotta use soy sauce. I'm gonna trim that back just a little bit before his hand lifts up. Let's try that. No, you gotta use soy sauce. A little bit of a mismatch there. So let's see if we can kind of fix that. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna lock my audio, hit shift T for my trim window, tilt it over this so you can kind of see. And I am gonna get it right about there where his hand is already lifting up and see if we can kind of hide that edit there. So I did a roll edit there, shift T, tilt it over this, and I'm gonna move in the middle to do a roll edit and I'm not messing with the audio, I've got the audio locked. And I'm gonna trim this to the right a little bit when his head is in the same space. Maybe right about there. Let's try that. Oh, you gotta use soy sauce. And in this shot here, his hand isn't lift, lifting up, but hopefully the audience isn't gonna oh. notice. 
but hopefully the audience isn't going to notice that. No, you got to use soy sauce. And not too bad. I mean, I could work on that a little bit, but uh, not too bad. Pepper? And that pepper matches up perfectly. Red pepper. And then he says red pepper there, and that matches up perfectly as well. And that's actually the audio that belongs to this clip. So we've done a little bit of uh, trickery there. Let's go through that and play through it and see how, we, how this looks so far. Let's go to the beginning. Should I be on the floor? No, keep cooking. Add salt or add pepper? No. No salt or no pepper? No salt. No salt. No, you gotta use soy sauce. Pepper? Red pepper. Then what? What do you mean? Okay, and that's looking pretty good. Okay, um, uh, one, one more technique that I wanna show here. We've kinda shown L cut, J, J cuts. Uh, I wanna show one more instance of that, and then I'm gonna also show how to do a reaction shot as well. Uh, Cause right here, when we um, cut to the lady, when we had the lady that feeds the guy the food here. It cuts to him and it stays on him for a long time. And she's kind of sitting here and in, in anticipation waiting for him to uh, respond to how the food tastes. So what I'm going to do here is I want a reaction shot of her. And what we can do is we can borrow from the footage before this here. And I am going to use a waveforms because this is going to be over the shoulder of the guy here, of Basil, and uh, looking at her. So when he speaks, we want it to look like it matches up the audio from over the shoulder. So what we can do is we can grab um, this clip here. I'm going to alt and drag it up. Alt and drag this down, make a duplicate. We can link these together if we want to. I hold, by the way, to select both of these, I'm selecting one, hold down shift, select the other. I'm gonna right click, click and go link. Now I'm gonna grab the end of this and trim it over and find where he says, let's find the audio where he says this. Hey, this is. Hey, this is. So maybe we're gonna cut away for the reaction shot there. So let's find that down here. I'm gonna mute this top audio and listen for that audio. Hey, this is good. And I'm going to get, and I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to match that up here where he says, hey, this is. I can see this audio waveform here. This is where he says, this is, right there, and it matches up with that one. Hey, hey this, this is, is good. Good. Hey, hey this, this is. is. So now I can get rid of this audio. Now that I got that kind of uh, matched up a bit, I'm going to... Um, Hold down Alt, select the audio, delete it, and now I can trim this, and hopefully I got a little reaction shot here after she feeds them. So I'm going to trim that down to where we got, hey, this is, right about there, and let's see how that looks. Hey, this is good. Hey, this is good. So now we've got that reaction shot there. So basically I pulled this up, dragged it over, and now I got this uh, cut away. Now I've got this cut to her for a reaction shot. So we play through it and we see when he says this is, you see his lips move over the shoulder. Hey, this is good. And that works pretty well there. I might want to extend that a little bit, make that a little bit longer. Hey, hey this is good. Th this is really good. <laughs> Thanks. There we go. I'm going to do one more cut here and just kind of demonstrate that same concept uh, where we cut over the shoulder and matching the, the, uh, matching the audio to the person talking over the shoulder when the audio doesn't belong to them. Do the same thing here. I'm going to hold down Alt, drag this up, Alt, drag this down, Shift to hold down, uh, hold down Shift to select both of those, right click, link, and I'm going to drag this backwards. And I'm going to match up uh, some audio here. So it looks like it's already might be matching up. Let's listen. Then clean up. Then clean up is matched up. So um, so if we want to perform a little bit of a cut, actually I can probably, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna get that a little bit more matched up here. I'm gonna hold down Alt and arrow that over. Probably two frames got it, maybe one frame. So that was already that was already pretty closely matched. So let me hold down Alt, select that, delete it. I'm gonna grab this Alt, arrow down, and move that into place. And now I can um, I can trim my window. I can um, move over here. This hold down Control and do a roll edit and get it over. The audio when he starts talking. Now we've got a little bit of an L cut. I said J cut, but that's an L cut there. Eat, then clean up. And let's bring this even a little further back when he says then clean up. Right there. Yeah, eat, then clean up. And there we go. And watch right here. Uh, the audio belongs to this shot here, but now when it cuts over the shoulder, the audio matches up with his face talking. Even though it's over the shoulder, you can see his face kind of just say, say those words here. So watch this. Yeah, eat. Then clean up. 
And now we got that actually that nice little tilt down when it goes to the pot, so it doesn't cut in the middle of the tilt. So watch this. Should we eat first? Yeah, eat, then clean up. Okay. And finally, if we want to do a reaction shot, here we got this. This is on a long yeah. shot. This is on kind of a long cut here. And if we want to see his face kind of it, anticipating, waiting for the food, we can do the same thing. Alt arrow up, drag this over to the right. Drag this over to the left, and now we've got a little reaction shot. Let's see where we want to time that. And clean up. Okay. And that blocks his face right there, so that might not work. And that actually doesn't work because her head's blocking the camera, so sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to finish doing the visual edit on this, and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Keep in mind right now, the audio is not perfect. We've got the really good audio clips, but this needs to be audio mix. But I'm doing the job as, of an editor right now, getting the best audio possible that can be sent off to sound mix. And when we come back, we'll take a look at this, and we'll start getting into sound mixing. We're just going to do the sound mixing in Premiere and kind of show how to do a basic sound mix in, in Premiere and make it sound pretty good. And then uh, and then we'll move, and after that, we'll move on to the color grading, which is going to be prepping this thing to go to uh, DaVinci Resolve for uh, color grading.